Go. Ah, Bill Stagg here. Um, I've been using oxalic acid dribbling it for a number of years and I've often had people ask me exactly how I mix it up and, and how do I apply it. So I'm going to do a little video on how I mix it up and then post another video on me in the field. So uh, it's important that you use the correct uh, stuff. There's a few different types of oxalic acid you can get. You want oxalic acid dihydrate. Um, so you know if, if you ask some other beekeepers, some, some bee clubs, I'm sure you can get hooked up with the right stuff. Uh, maybe it's uh, you know, I've heard you can get it at Costco. Um, somebody said uh, London Drugs, possibly. I bought a big bag uh, from a chemical supply place, and, and I'll retire and still be using that. I think it was 40 kilos or something. So uh, it's very easy to mix up, very easy to deal with. Um, I much, much prefer <laughs> Gingy the cat. I much, much prefer uh, dribbling oxalic acid. I'm not a fan of vaporizing it. Um, there's just too many. Uh, hazards involved with dealing with that vapor. Uh, anyways, uh, what I like to use 3.5% oxalic acid. What that means is they're talking about the amount uh, of acid in a one liter solution. Okay, um, what solution they're talking about? Uh, one to one sugar syrup. So cheap and cheerful white sugar. Um, I just simply use a measuring cup and I'll measure out um, a liter. Of, of sugar, so I'm doing this by volume. Then I'm measuring out a liter of warm tap water. It does not have to be blazing hot, you just want the, the acid to, to readily mix in, okay? So I put the sugar, and then I put the, the hot water in a bucket. I make sure it's nice and clear that the sugar's all mixed up. And then I go back and pour that solution only up to here, the one liter mark, because I want a one liter of finished solution. Okay, that's what I'm mixing my acid with. So then, um, I'll take and get a, a good scale. If you don't have a legal for trade scale, uh, find somebody who does. Um, if you can't, I mean, buy two cheap ones. Make sure that they're... There, there's a bit of a, of a fudge factor. You can go as high as 4.2%. Um, you can go as low as 28 But really, try to hit that 35 or a little bit less. When you start getting over that 4 percent mark you can start doing some damage to the bees and I mean that's the last thing we want to do we're controlling varroa mites um, so what we want to do is we want to get 35 grams of oxalic acid and then our our finished solution which I've measured from here into here into this bucket mix up 35 grams of oxalic acid dihydrate and you're good to go to the field um, simple as that when I go to the field I always have wash water and stuff with me uh, but you'll see that in the next video. Okay, thanks.